Selections have a variety of uses. Generally, we'll create them when we want to extract an image from its background, but we can use them to protect sections of an image as well. Here, we'll create a selection that first lets us paint on the background but protects our duck, and then we'll reverse it to allow us to paint on the duck whilst leaving the background untouched. As we've got a plain white background, we can use the magic wand tool. Its keyboard shortcut is A, or we can select it from the tool options. We'll click once, and that selects the entire background. Now note it's only the background that's selected here, the duck remains unselected. So everything we paint on, the duck will be protected. Let's grab the brush tool from the draw section of the toolbox, and we'll choose a foreground colour by clicking the foreground colour chip. In the picker, we'll choose a blue for our C, and we'll make the brush a little bit bigger by tapping the right square bracket key a few times, and that's OK. Let's just paint over, and as we do, the background's affected, but the duck remains untouched. It's like we're painting behind it. Let's choose a different foreground colour for the sky, and we'll just paint over here as well, like so. And there we go. Now, if we want to paint on the duck, but leave the background untouched, we need to invert the selection. So we'll go to Select and Inverse, or we could use the keyboard shortcut of Command Shift I on the Mac or Control Shift I on the PC. And now we can see it's only the duck that's selected. Everything outside of it, that's the background, will be protected. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller this time by pressing the left square bracket a few times, and that's about right. And we'll choose a different foreground colour. Let's choose red this time. Now we can draw some circles on the duck, but we can go into the background because we know it's not going to be affected by the colour. And there we go. We'll draw one more, and that's it. And that's how we can use selections to protect an area of an image, and then how to invert the selection to quickly switch to the opposite effect.